So John's going to demonstrate the water lifter. So we've got the water lifter into a pipe through there, and it's that one there. And you can hear it. And you can see the water going down. And it's going round the pipe in through there. That could do with a little tighten up, and you'll see it fill up in there in a minute. Here it comes. And you can see it coming up. And when it overflows, I'll go up to show you what John does to turn it off. That left hand one at the top. Next is the injector. So the injector is the water valve on that side. Turn that on first, and out of the injector will start to dribble water. And then you turn the steam valve, which is the second one on, that one there. And it will go and it spits a little bit so you can knock that water valve back a little bit until you get it to pick up cleanly, which hopefully it will do in a minute. With any look. That water's ah, the water's warm. a bit warm from the thing. So you can actually hear that is injecting even if it isn't running cleanly at the moment. Sometimes if you get the water too warm in the bunker, which happens when you use the water lifter, because obviously there's steam going in here as well as pumping the water in, doesn't like warm water in an injector, so it's always better to fill that with a cold water if you're going to use an injector. So that's how it works, and that will feed in all the way through into this plaque here. If you wanted to turn the clack off, you can just do that, and you can see the little lines on the top here. They point into the boiler, if it's open, and the crossways, if I can do it, if it's shut, you can see that would shut it. So we'll leave that open. Next is the bypass pump, so that's continually working, and you can see it's this eccentric here, and it pumps that little brass pump in there, the bronze, and then this valve that John's about to operate, if you shut that, and you can probably hear that that slowed the engine itself down and now there's a ticking noise going on. That's because it's now pumping water around and instead of it going um, up through here and then through that open valve back down into the tender with no resistance, it can't get through there now because that's shut, so it's forcing it down through this pipe at the back all the way along through this clack against boiler pressure. And that's why it slowed the engine down now because it's pushing against the boiler pressure. And if John opens it, it all speeds up again and the tick goes away. Because now the water's just going around this simple circuit from the bunker back down into the bunker. And this is the mechanical lubricator. You can see that it's ratcheting round and every time it ratchets round, that little piston in there goes up and down and pumps a, a bungle boiler. You can see the brass end of the piston coming up mm -hmm. and down it goes again. That's steam oil, so that's the thicker oil, yeah. which, as I said to you earlier, yeah. uh, works at the same sort of viscosity as the other stuff, so it needs to be a thicker oil to start with, so that when it gets hot, it's, it's still down, running. Down, yeah. Yeah. The governor actually works um, yeah. it, it, when it's running, it's running. You put a belt on and it drives, but it might not, yeah. But when essentially when you push that, you can slightly hear that it's slowed it down. Slowed down, yeah. Push the belt for? So this is putting it in gear, you take out the pin, which is in neutral, then you can slide it across. And then put the pin back in again. Uh -huh. Not sure which of the gears John selected there, is that slow gear that? <laughs> slow. Yes. Yes, I think so. Lower gear. Lower gear. So select forwards, which is there. Yeah. And then open the, right open the regulator a little, that's it. And before you open it too much, <laughs> it looks quite a lot there, <laughs> you can just spin the flywheel around. And then you're away. 